Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to the Rainbow Lunch Marathon. Color themed lunches can be challenging but also a lot of fun and they truly are some of my favorite lunches to make. Now if you guys have a color lunch idea you'd like to send in, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below so you can do that. And if your color lunch gets chosen, I'll make it in a future video. And now let's get on to the lunches. Good morning friends and welcome to Monday. The color of the day is is red. Here's how I made it. I actually started by making up a big batch of my ranch dressing. We were all out so I definitely wanted to make a new batch for the entire week. I do have a separate video on how I make the ranch. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Next I prepared my lunch boxes. I added some red napkins and some cupcake liners to make it look fun. Now over in this back corner, I have a few cherry tomatoes with a little bit of ranch in with them. Over in this corner, I have some mini Baby Bell cheese and I went ahead and peeled it for the kids just to make it easier for them to open. I know sometimes Lily has a hard time with these guys. Over in this corner, I have some turkey pepperoni and I added these to a cute little skewer. Of course, it's a red skewer and it makes it really fun. Over in this corner, I have some new special crackers that we're trying today. These are the creamy tomato soup crackers from Trader Joe's and they don't taste like tomato soup. They actually taste like pizza. They're really good, but we'll see if the kids like them. I'm not sure. Today we're also trying some new little yogurt cups. Aren't these cute? I found these at the Dollar Tree. They have a little lid that screws on. They're perfect for yogurt and snacks, things like that. So I started by adding just a little bit of vanilla yogurt to each cup. And then of course, since the theme today is red, I added a few raspberries on top. Lastly, I'm also sending the kids with a little treat today. This is the apple strawberry fruit wrap from Trader Joe's. It's like a fruit leather. It's very tasty. In here we have apple juice, apple puree, strawberry juice, strawberry puree, and elderberry juice. They're really very good. And now it's time to show the kids. Do you guys want to come see? Yeah! Whoa! Cool! Is it cool that everything is yeah. red? Yeah! Okay, so now it's time to get my lids on. I am going to go ahead and put an ice pack in here today just to keep the yogurt cool and the cheese. I'll put them in the lunch boxes and that is it. And we'll see you when we get back. All right, time to check the lunches. We'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's first. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was so good. You ate everything and your yogurt. What was your favorite part? I like the yogurt and the tomatoes. The tomatoes? I thought you didn't like tomatoes. I like them. Now you like them? Well, that's good. Do you like all the red foods? Yeah. Do you know what's coming tomorrow? No. What comes after red? Orange. That's right. Okay, time to check Jackson's. He's not here with us, but it looks like he did pretty good, except he didn't eat his cheese. But I think this is still good, so maybe he'll eat that later. And he ate his yogurt. But nobody used their napkin. <laughs> Your napkin's still at the bottom. I thought it was a decoration. That's okay. Is my lunch next, Mom? That's right, yours is next. Let's see how you did. Uh-oh, what happened? All I needed was a drink. All you needed was a drink? Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't eat any tomatoes. You did eat your cheese. You left one and a half crackers and a couple pieces of pepperoni, so. Next time you gotta eat more, right? Yeah. But did you eat your yogurt? Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Now today I actually don't have any helpers with me. They're off getting ready for the day. But I can go ahead and show you the lunch that I made, and today's theme is orange. So of course I started off by adding some napkins and some orange cupcake liners to my lunch boxes. Then I rolled up some turkey, cut out some cheese slices into some fun flower shapes. I also added some cheddar rockets. We love these crackers, they're from Trader Joe's and they're perfect because they're orange. Back here I have some carrots which I've cut into a fun crinkle cut shape. And then over here I have one little cutie and I made it really fun by adding some little eyes. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving the kids a mango flavored yogurt. These ones are from Trader Joe's and they're really tasty. 
And then I also have a mango cereal bar. So I'll go ahead and get all my lids on here today. And then I will put in an ice pack because of the meat and the cheese and the yogurt. And then we'll head out the door. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> Good job, guys. Right now I've got Mackenzie and Lily and Jackson here helping me say hi. Hi. So, what did you think about the orange lunch today? I loved it. I see that Mackenzie, I see that Mackenzie ate everything. Good job. Let's see, Jackson left a couple bites of cheese and some carrots, but I didn't give him any ranch today. Lily also left some carrots, some crackers, and a little bit of her turkey. So, what was your favorite part, Mackenzie? I like the yogurt. The yogurt. Did you like your yogurt, Lily? Yeah, the yogurt was the best part of my lunch. <laughs> Good job. Good morning, guys. And welcome to Wednesday. Now, normally on Wednesday, we eat lunch at home, but today we're actually headed to a special activity, so we're bringing our lunch. And as you can probably tell, the theme for today is yellow. So I started by adding my napkin and my cupcake liners to my lunchbox. Next, I went ahead and gave the kids some hummus right over here. And next to that, I have some corn chips to dip in there. Back over here, I have some of these freeze-dried mangoes. These are really good. They're actually crunchy and just a little bit sweet. Over in this back corner, I have some hard-boiled eggs. And I tried to use my star-shaped mold for these, but it didn't really work out this time. Sometimes it doesn't. I am remembering to put a little spoon in here today, and that is because I'm sending the kids with a yogurt. This is a lemon yogurt. And then for a treat, I'm also giving the kids some of these lemon Oreo thins. And so these guys right here. So they're like an Oreo, but smaller. Isn't that cute? Uh-huh. Do you need anything else? No. Nope. You think that's enough for you? Yeah. I was thinking about putting some yellow uh, bell pepper in there, but I don't have any and I'm, I don't think the kids would eat it. So this is lunch today. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, it is much, much later now and I'm just getting around to checking the lunches again. I've been forgetting. But right now I have both Mackenzie and Lily here. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so you can already tell kind of how lunch went today. Overall, they did really well. There's just a couple of scoops of hummus left in each container. Maybe next time we need to pack them more chips. What'd you think, guys? It was good, but there was one problem. Yeah. My yogurt exploded all over my lunchbox. Uh, yeah. So I gave them a full size yogurt cup in their lunch today, and it didn't, I guess it didn't fit very well, and it got smushed or something happened. But one of my friends helped clean it up. That was really nice of them. And we'll see you tomorrow for the green lunch. Bye. Good morning, guys. And happy Thursday. Today our lunch is green. <laughs> That's right. So I started off by decorating my boxes with some green napkins and green cupcake liners. This is so easy to do and it doesn't cost a lot of money either. Next I prepared some cheese tortellini. This cooks so fast, just about three minutes. And then to make it green, I added some of our favorite basil pesto. Now sometimes I will serve these warm, but other times I just serve them room temperature. They're totally good both ways. Now to go with our lunches today, I'm also giving the kids some cucumbers, and I actually used my mini cookie cutter to make these into flower shapes. They are so cute. Over in this corner, I have some green grapes, and I've included a cute little pick just for fun. Now I don't normally give the kids two fruits in one lunch, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I had some kiwis that I needed to use up, so I went ahead and gave them a few slices of that as well. Now I am throwing in one more snack today. I have these little snack bags full of some snack peas. These are pea crisps, just like that. So it's kind of like a baked snack, yes. And these ones are the Caesar flavor. So what do you think, Mackenzie? It looks cool. Does it look like enough food today? Yeah. Okay, so I have to get all of my lids on. Um, I probably don't need to put in an ice pack today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway since I have them available. And do you guys wanna take apple juice today? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll throw in some apple juice too. And we'll see you when we get back. Okay guys, we're back home now, and I have all the kids here helping me. I even have Griffin. Can you say hi? Uh, Good hey job. Hi. All right, so let's check the lunches today. Here's Mackenzie's. Mackenzie, you ate everything, huh? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? I liked the ravioli and the grapes. Yeah, let's check Jackson's. Uh-oh, Jackson. He has a few grapes left. 
and one single tortellini. So I guess it wasn't too bad. And let's check Lily's. Lily has a few cucumbers left, but she ate everything else. So that's really good. Lily, what did you like today? Mm, the kiwi. The kiwi. What about you, Jack? Mm, the cucumbers right here. The cucumbers. Very good. And we'll see you tomorrow. Now we can eat this. Yay! Good morning, guys, and welcome to Friday. I'm so glad that it's Friday. I actually don't have any helpers with me. They're all playing in their rooms. But as you can tell, today's theme is blue. And of course, I started by adding my napkin and my liners to my lunchbox. Now, because I couldn't think of any meat or protein that was naturally blue, I went ahead and just gave the kids our regular salami that they like, and I added it to a blue pig. And I put it in a blue container. Back over here, I gave the kids a handful of blueberries, and I added a little pick just for fun. In this section, I have a blue Baby Bell cheese, and then over here, I have a blueberry bar. These are the blueberry cereal bars I get from Trader Joe's. These are really good. The kids love them. I'm remembering to put a little spoon in there, and that is for the yogurt. I thought I was picking blueberry yogurt, but it actually says Mountain Huckleberry, but I think it's gonna taste like blueberry. We shall see. And finally, I'm also giving the kids a little bag of pretzels. These were perfect to throw in today because they're in a blue bag, but they're not actually blue pretzels. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I will need to put an ice pack today because of the yogurt. And then the kids will also be taking water. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. Good job, guys. Right now I've got Mackenzie and Lily and even Jackson here helping me say hi. Hi. So what did you think about the blue lunch? I loved it. Yeah? Let's see how you did. Mackenzie ate her pretzels. She ate her cereal bar, and everything else is gone. Very good. What was your favorite part? I really liked the pretzels and the yogurt. No the yogurt. yogurt was good too. Yeah. Let's yeah. check Lily's. Oh no, this is Jackson's. It's not Lily's. Let's see, Jackson, you ate everything? Good job, what, what did you like the best? Maybe the yogurt and the baby bell cheese. The baby bell cheese, yeah. Let's check Lily's. Lily has one or two pretzels left. She ate all of her cereal bar. And you ate your yogurt or did you share it with Griffin? I, I kind of shared it with him. You shared it with Griffin, well that's nice. And let's see, your cheese is gone and everything else is gone. Did you eat all your salami? Good job. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today I have Jackson and Lily with me. Say hi. 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 So what do you think about the purple lunch today? That's awesome. It's awesome? Mm -hmm. Well, last week when we did colors, we ended on blue. So Friday was blue. So of course today, on Monday, we're gonna go with purple. I had several comments last week about whether or not my portion sizes were big. I get this a lot, you guys. But I want you to keep in mind that this is just lunch. This isn't breakfast or snacks, and the kids aren't gone all day because we're homeschoolers, and so I don't really need to pack them a ton of food, so just keep that in mind. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. I added a purple napkin to the bottom and some purple cupcake liners. Super simple, not expensive, and it really makes it easier to clean. And you guys, since today I'm sending cereal, I wanted to be sure to give them a nap just in case there's any spills. So for this lunch today, I started by cutting up some purple carrots. Now I think these taste just like regular carrots. I don't think they taste weird at all. And of course, to go along with that, I'm also giving the kids a handful of the purple grapes. I put a little purple flag in there just for fun and they can actually use it to pick up their grapes. Today I'm also giving the kids lots of this really fun cereal. This is the Purple Maze Flake cereal. I get this at Trader Joe's. And it's just slightly sweet, but it's really tasty. It's gluten-free and they're crispy and delicious. So of course to go along with our cereal today, I'm also giving the kids some milk, but this is just half full. They don't usually use a ton of milk for a little cereal bowl like that. Today I'm super excited to be giving the kids this RX bar for kids. These are the first time we've tried these, and there's a lot of protein in here, so like seven grams of protein, and you can see all of the ingredients are listed here on the front, so there's no weird ingredients or anything like that. Egg whites, almonds, cashews, and one date, and that's it. And this package is sort of a light purple color, so it's perfect for today. 
Now lastly, I am sending the kids with this berry applesauce. I get these at Trader Joe's. And because there's berries in it, it definitely makes it look like a nice purpley color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the lunch boxes. I definitely want to put an ice pack in there today to keep the milk nice and cold. And I'm sure to put a spoon in there as well. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. Good job, guys. I've got Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily with me. So let's see how they did today. What was your guys' favorite part? I like the cereal. You like the cereal the yeah, best? Me too. That is really good cereal. I see Mackenzie ate all of hers. Let's see. Did you eat everything? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's check Jackson's. How'd it go, Jack? Good. Yeah? I can see you had all of your cereal and all of your milk. And oh, there's just one little bite of carrot. That's actually pretty good. Now let's check Lily's. You had all your milk. What did you like, Lily? Mm, cereal, milk, carrots. You did? Oh, yours got a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a few grapes left in there and just a few carrots. So that's pretty good. How did you like your RX bars? They were good. Yeah? Overall, you guys did very well today. And you know what color's coming up tomorrow? No. Pink. Yay! <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. Today's lunch came out so pretty and pink. This morning, I have Jackson and Mackenzie and Willie with me say good morning. Good morning. So what do you think about the pink lunch? Cool. Do you like it, Jackson? Uh-huh. It's for boys too, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, boys can like pink, they want to. Now, since it is Tuesday, I made sure that today's lunch is nut-free because the older two kids do attend a nut-free campus on Tuesdays. So I started off by decorating my boxes like I normally do. I added a pretty pink napkin and some cupcake liners. Then I started rolling up the pastrami. Pastrami meat is kind of pink naturally, so it definitely went along with the lunch today. But the kids have never had pastrami before, have you guys? No. no. It's kind of like roast beef, but it's a little bit um, more flavorful. I'd say think about how beef jerky tastes. So there's a little bit of pepper, but it's not spicy. Oh. So we have some rolled up pastrami here. Next to that, I'm giving the kids a little milk. I had these little milks left over from one of my HelloFresh meal, so I thought I would just go ahead and put that in there since it is pink after all. I'm remembering to put a little tiny spoon in there and that's because I'm giving the kids lots of this cherry vanilla Greek yogurt. And I decided to take it out of the carton this time and put it in the lunch box because the last time I sent Kenzie with a full cup of yogurt, it leaked in her backpack. So from now on, I think I'll try to put it in the lunch box instead. Over in this corner, I have just two of these little pink and white cookies from Trader Joe's. It has like a pink coating and some sprinkles on there. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids this organic strawberry apple fruit pouch. These are from Trader Joe's and they're perfect today because they're pink. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids some pretzels. These are left over from Valentine's Day, but they are in a pretty pink bag, so it's perfect for today. And I don't think they're too old. I think they're, and they're pretzels, right? Pretzels stay good for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So right now, I need to get all of my lids on. I definitely want to put some ice packs in there today because of the milk and the meat and the yogurt. And then I'll get them in their lunch boxes, and then we will head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Hi guys, we're back home now and I only have Mackenzie here helping me. Say hi. Hi. So what do you think about the pink lunch today? It was so cool. Yeah, is pink your favorite color? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check yours. I had a peek at it already, but it looks like you ate everything. Mm -hmm. Very good, what was your favorite part? I like the yogurt and the meat and the cookies. Yeah, the, those cookies are good. And the milk, the milk was pretty good too. Really? Yeah. Well, I have to say, whenever I pack yogurt, it tends to be pretty messy. You can see it's like all over the lid and it gets inside the lunch box, but that's just, I guess that's okay. It's not, it's not too bad, but it is definitely on the messy side. Looks like Jackson ate everything and Lily ate everything too, although I know she did share some of her yogurt with um, Griffin. So overall, I think today's lunch went really, really well. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today has been super crazy in the morning, so I'm gonna run through lunch really quickly. 
So as you can tell today, I tried to find all white foods, although some of the foods ended up looking more yellowy white, but that's okay. So in today's lunch, I went ahead and started by decorating my boxes with a napkin and some paper cupcake liners. Back over in this corner, I added lots of vanilla Greek yogurt. Over here, I have some cauliflower with just a tiny bit of ranch right in the corner for dipping. I have some rolled up turkey and Havarti cheese sandwiches. I just took a tortilla. I put a lot of the herb cream cheese on there. I added a slice of turkey and a slice of Havarti and I rolled it up. And then I just sliced them into these fun pinwheel sandwiches. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some of this light kettle corn. I get this at Trader Joe's and I just put it in a little container there. And then for a special treat today, I'm also giving the kids some of these cookies. These are the pink and white cookies, although I'm just giving them the white ones today. And these are like a shortbread cookie with um, like a coating and sprinkles on there. So there is today's lunch. I'm going to go ahead and get all of my lids on. I definitely want to put an ice pack in there today and then we've got to get out the door. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now and here's what we eat. Good job guys. Right now I have all the kids with me. What did you guys think of all white colored food today? It was so cool. Did uh -huh. your friends think it was fun? Yeah. So I can see a little, or Mackenzie's got quite a lot of yogurt crust from her yogurt, but she ate everything else. Good job, what was your favorite part? I like the cookies. Oh, how did you end up with two? Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally packed two ice packs today, that's silly. <laughs> now let's go ahead and check Jackson's. Let's see, okay, so Jackson just left one little sandwich, but the overall that's pretty good. What was your favorite part, Jackson? Um, sandwiches. You wanna eat yours now? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's still cold, so you can probably eat it. And let's check Lily's. Oh, Lily, you did so good. Now you told me what your favorite part was already, didn't you? What was your favorite part? Yogurt, the sandwiches, and boo-boo. Yeah, she was calling it white broccoli. She really liked the white broccoli. It's called cauliflower. That's right, otherwise known as cauliflower. So your sandwiches are gone, although I know she shared some of these with Griffin, but she ate everything else. And the popcorn's all gone, and the cookies are all gone. So, very good job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Thursday. Now you can probably tell the theme of today's lunch is brown. So I tried to find as many brown foods as I possibly could, but it was kind of difficult. What do you think, Mackenzie? Does it look cool? Yeah. Do you like it, Lily? Yeah. Okay, so here's what I did today. Of course, I started off by adding a brown napkin and some brown cupcake liners just to make it cute. Then I took some roast beef and I rolled it up and added it to a cute little pick. Back over here I have some pears, but these are actually called Bosch pears, and so they have a brown skin. And I added some googly eye picks just to make them fun. Over here I have a baby bell cheese in a brown wrapper. This is actually the Gouda type of cheese, but to me all the baby bell cheeses kinda taste the same. Now over here I'm also giving the kids something new to try. This is the Chia Pod in the dark cocoa flavor. So it's sort of a chocolate pudding consistency, but this is actually made of chia seeds, almond milk, cocoa powder, and it's lightly sweetened with coconut sugar. So it's vegan as well. So I'm not quite sure if they'll like this, but I mean, it's got chocolate. How bad could it be, right? Yeah. And it comes with a fun little spoon. Now lastly today, I'm also sending the kids with an RX bar, but I only have two of the peanut butter and chocolate flavor. So Jackson's actually going to get just the peanut flavor. And you can see all of the ingredients on the front here, so they're very simple. Lots of protein in these. So that should keep them full for a while. Now I definitely want to put some ice packs in here today because of the roast beef and the cheese and the pudding and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my lids on and then we will head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I have Jackson and Mackenzie here to tell you about it. Because there was definitely Hi. something in the lunch today that they did not like and you can pretty much tell what it is. It was these guys. So what did you think Mackenzie? I don't think she had like any of it. I did tried, you try it? I tried one bite and then it wasn't good. No, what do you think Jack? Now I have to say that I gave some to Griffin and he really liked it. But let me just show you a close up of this you guys. It is sort of a different consistency. So I probably wouldn't give this to the kids again. Maybe I should try it. Mm, yeah, 
It's not good. It has a very dark chocolate flavor to it and not enough sweetener to like balance it out. So maybe not the most kid friendly choice for lunches. Okay, but let's check everything else. Starting with Mackenzie's. Oh, Mackenzie, eat everything else? Mm -hmm. Good job. What was your favorite part? I like the bar and the meat. You like the RX bar? Yeah. Out of all the ones that you tried, which one was your favorite? I like the one I just had in my lunch. The peanut butter one? Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's just check Jackson's. Oh, of course he left his baby bell cheese. You know what I like? What? In my lunch? What? The meat. Uh-huh. The RX bar and the pear. The pear. Oh, how was the pear? The pear was cool. Did it taste like a regular pear or different? Regular pear. Oh, good. Huh? All right, let's check Lily's. Lily ate all of her meat. She ate her cheese. She ate her fruit. And she ate her RX bar, but not her Chia Pod thing. So overall, really good job today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Today, I saved the hardest lunch for last. And that's because it's really challenging to find foods that are naturally black. Come see. <gasps> It's hard to find foods that are naturally black. So what I did was I started with some black bean pasta. I found this at Trader Joe's. We've never tried it before, but it happens to be gluten-free and it has a lot of protein and fiber. So I thought we could give it a try. I'm gonna serve this pasta cold today as sort of a pasta salad. I went ahead and just cooked up the pasta, drained it, it made the water really black, it was really interesting. And then I just added some salt and pepper, some herbs and butter. Really simple pasta salad. So I only gave the kids a little bit of it because I'm not quite sure they're gonna like it, but we shall see. Now, of course, I decorated the lunch boxes with a really cute black and white napkin, and I have two little polka dot cupcake liners as well. Back in this corner, I have some black olives, probably my kids' favorite out of all of this lunch, and I added the little eye picks just to be fun. Over here, I have some black grapes. We don't normally buy black grapes, but they're sweet and I think the kids will hopefully like them. I added just a little pick in there for fun. And then of course, I have a mini Baby Bell cheese. And if you get the white cheddar variety, it comes in a black package, so that's like perfect for today's lunch. I'm also gonna give the kids a teeny tiny little fork for their pasta salad. And then we also have these to try. We haven't had this flavor before. This is the RX Bar in the chocolate sea salt flavor. And as you can tell, it has all of the ingredients listed right here on the front. So it's very clean, full of protein, and hopefully the kids will like it. So that is everything in today's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on here, get them in the lunch boxes, and then of course when we're all done, we will show you what they ate. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> so as you can tell, I've already opened everything up, and the kids did really well today. What did you guys think of the new black noodles? They were a thumbs to the side. A thumbs to the side? I thought they really tasted a lot like black beans. Yeah. So I see Jackson did not eat his baby bell cheese, but it's still in its wrapper, so I think it's still good. And Lily ate all of her fruit, and all of these bars are gone. What did you guys think of these? They were so good. They were good. Wow. So overall, they did really well today. I had so much fun doing these different color themed lunches this week and last week. I hope you guys enjoyed them too. Okay guys, now I know I said this entire place smelled a lot like crayons, but when we got closer to the restaurant, I was definitely smelling hot dogs. Hot dogs definitely seem to be a popular menu item there, so that's what I'm making for our lunch today. Another popular menu item at their restaurant was mac and cheese, so I'm gonna throw together some mac and cheese as well. I'm using the very classic Kraft Deluxe. This one comes with this squeezy cheese. Lots of squeezy cheese. So I'm heating up the hot dogs, cooking the noodles, adding in all that cheese. And then, here's the special part, you guys. I'm actually gonna take my bun, place my hot dog in as normal, but then instead of adding ketchup but mustard, I'm gonna top this hot dog with the mac and cheese. So it's a mac and cheese hot dog. They don't actually sell this combination at Crayola Experience, but I think they should. I know they sell hot dogs just like this at Disney and other places. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a macaroni and cheese topped hot dog. I think the kids will be super surprised to see this. Now to go along with this, I'm also gonna be including lots of fruits and veggies. 
I found this really cute crayon shaped cookie cutter on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and use it to cut out some watermelon, some honeydew melon, pineapple, and cantaloupe. I want to get as many colors as I can, so our lunchbox will kind of look like a box of crayons. In this separate container, I'm going to start by pouring in some ranch, and then I'm going to use my crayon cookie cutter again to cut out some veggies. I'm using some green bell pepper and some sweet yellow and red bell peppers. My kids definitely like these better if they dip them in ranch. I think these turned out so cute and I love the vibrant color. They really do look like crayons. So I'll go ahead and add those to the lunchbox. This is looking so fun. And then I have a few more things to add. First up is popcorn. We did end up buying one of the reusable popcorn buckets while we were there. And then for our drink today, I did go ahead and pick up some of these crayon shaped water bottles. They are so cute and they were actually only $4.99. So I'm just adding some ice water in here with lemon. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. And then last but not least, a special treat. Since we are back at home now, I have a cool treat for the kids. These are popsicles that look like crayons. Aren't these adorable? My kids love these because the little sticks that they come on also include a joke. We really enjoyed our field trip today. I would definitely give the Crayola experience two thumbs up and totally recommend it to anyone. And as you can probably tell, Christina requested an all green lunch. My first step for this lunch is to make a wrap. And since this is a green lunch, instead of using a regular tortilla, I'm using this garden spinach herb tortilla. It is nice and green. But you guys, you really don't taste the spinach. To me, this just tastes like a regular tortilla. So for Christina's wrap, she requested cheese. So I'm just adding a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese here. I'll go ahead and spread that out all over the tortilla. Then to go along with this, she also requested some hamburger meat. So I'm gonna take my container of pre-cooked meat and sprinkle a little bit all over the cheese. Next, Christina says to pop this into the microwave until it's all melted together. Now this is looking pretty good already, but there's a few more things Christina requested. To this wrap, I'm also gonna be adding in some shredded lettuce. I don't know about you guys, but I love fresh lettuce in things like wraps and burgers and sandwiches. It really adds a fresh flavor and a nice crunch. Some of my kids, however, are not big fans of lettuce in anything but a salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up some lettuce here and then sprinkle it onto our wrap. And then to finish this up, I'm also gonna be drizzling a little bit of ranch all over the top. Now I'm going to very carefully roll this up. I do wanna go ahead and fold those edges in and I'm gonna roll this as tightly as I can. Now before I get this into the lunchbox, I do wanna go ahead and slice it. I like to cut this on the diagonal. I think it looks really pretty that way. And check it out, you guys. Doesn't that look tasty? So now it's time to move on to some vegetables, and there's actually a lot of choices when it comes to green vegetables. But for Christina's lunch today, she requested sugar snap peas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bunch in here. And to go along with them, I'm also adding in a small container of ranch in a cute little green container, of course. For Christina's fruit, I'm adding in some green grapes with a green crayon pick. And then for her snack today, she requested some veggie straws, but only the green ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out all of the green ones that I can, and I'm gonna fit as many as I can in the lunchbox. But I do wanna leave some space next to the straws for the sweet treat. For Christina's lunch today, she requested a green cupcake. So I just took a mini vanilla cupcake, I swirled some green frosting on there, and then to finish off this cupcake, I'm going to add just a few green sprinkles. And then to complete Christina's lunch, I'm also gonna be adding in some strawberry kiwi juice. Now technically this juice isn't green, although it does have a green fruit in it, but I thought it'd be really cute to add the green Mickey topper to this drink. It seems like the perfect choice for our green themed lunch. Next, I'm going to be making Sydney's lunch. She is from Tampa, Florida, and for her lunch, she requested all orange foods. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually own an orange lunch box, 
So instead, I'm just going to use a teal lunchbox with as many orange accessories as I can. For Sydney's main course, I'm going to start by making a delicious grilled cheese sandwich. Next, I'm adding a slice of Colby Jack cheese, followed by something a little bit unexpected. That's right, you guys, I'm adding a layer of mac and cheese. This is just good old Kraft mac and cheese. It's already been prepared, of course. Now that I have that on there, I'm going to add one more slice of cheese and top it off with another slice of bread with mayonnaise on the outside. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and grill this until the cheese is nice and melted inside and the outside of the bread is nice and crispy. So now to get this to fit in my lunch box, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into thirds, but I have to show you the inside of this sandwich. I think this looks super interesting with all of those noodles in there. Now let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried a grilled cheese sandwich with mac and cheese in it. My next step is to add in some fruit, but I'm not gonna be adding an orange. For Sydney's lunch, she requested cantaloupe. So I just cut this into bite-sized pieces using my crinkle cutter. I'll go ahead and add those right into this section. And surprisingly, I don't have a lot of orange picks, but I do have this giraffe. And every time I use this pick, I wonder why the giraffe looks so sad. I feel like he should be smiling. I'll go ahead and add him right into here anyway, and then move on to our veggie. Some baby carrots, the perfect orange vegetable if you ask me. And to go along with the carrots, I'm also adding a container of ranch in an orange orange container. And now it's time for Sydney's snack. She requested some Cheeto puffs, which are very, very orange. I'm going to go ahead and fill up this back section with these huge Cheetos. And then I'm going to scoot this over a little bit so I have plenty of room to pack Sydney's treat. For her lunch, I'm going with some peanut M&Ms. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite type of M&Ms are. Personally, I'm a big fan of the peanut butter ones. And then as you can see, for Sydney's lunch, I'm just picking out the orange M&Ms. And I decided to use this really fun snack container I found at Michael's. It looks like a little ball that a toy might come in, but it's totally made for snacks. Now lastly, for Sydney's lunch, I'm also going to be adding in some Sunny D. Now unfortunately, I couldn't find any small containers of Sunny D. So I'm going to go ahead and take this big bottle and I'm gonna pour it into this reusable container I got. I'm gonna try my best not to spill this. I'll go ahead and pop the lid on and then it's ready to go. Okay guys, this next lunch request was sent in by Junior. He is 14 years old and is from Louisiana. And the interesting thing about his request is that he just asked for an all blue lunch. He didn't specify what types of food, he said that I could pick them. So the first thing I'm going to be making for Junior is a delicious blueberry sandwich. For this, I'm using some of this blueberry swirl bread. Now the bread itself is not actually blue, but that's okay. There is a swirl of blue inside with lots of pieces of dried blueberries throughout the bread. Now to go with this blueberry sandwich, I'm also gonna be adding a layer of blueberry cream cheese. Now this cream cheese is just a little bit blue. It's also slightly sweetened, and there's also lots of blueberry flavor in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it all over the bread. Now I wanna turn this into a peekaboo sandwich, so I'm gonna take my star-shaped cutter and punch out the center of the other piece of bread. And there you have it, a super cute blueberry sandwich. And speaking of blueberries, for Junior's lunch, I'm also gonna be throwing in some regular fresh blueberries. I think that's the perfect fruit for this lunch. And since I already have a big carton of blueberries in my fridge, I can go ahead and throw them into this lunch. And to go along with these blueberries, I'm adding my blue crayon food pick. Now in this back section, I would normally put a vegetable, but I don't actually have any blue vegetables. So for this lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part. Yay, no veggies! In this other section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add this blue drinkable yogurt. And then for Junior's lunch, I'm gonna be adding some veggie straws, but these ones are actually the red, white, and blue veggie straws. And this bag actually comes with regular straws and star-shaped pieces. So for Junior's lunch, I'm just going to pick out the blue star shapes and put them right in here. For Junior's sweet treat, I'm going to be adding this bag of sea creature gummies. It's nice and blue on the outside of the package. And then finally, for Junior's lunch, I'm also going to be adding in a juice bottle. This is technically grape juice inside, but the bottle is blue and the little topper is blue as well. With that little blue troll on top, it is perfect for today's lunch. And then just for fun, I'm going to go a little pick crazy and I'm going to add as many blue picks as I can into this lunch. 
And now that brings us to Cindy's lunch. Cindy is 31 years old and is from Australia. And then just like Junior's lunch, Cindy just requested an all pink lunch. I'm gonna have to come up with these pink foods all on my own. So for Cindy's pink lunch, I think I'll go ahead and start with the main course first. And for this, I'm going to be using several pieces of string cheese and several slices of deli ham. And this is going to be really easy, you guys. I'm just taking my string cheese and I'm going to roll the cheese up in the slice of ham. This is a great lunch or a snack if you're a gluten-free person or if you want a low-carb snack. Now in this front section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna be adding two different kinds of pink fruit. First, I'm gonna be adding some raspberries. Now I know raspberries can be considered red, but to me, they look more pink. So I think they're perfect for this lunch. And then to go along with it, I'm also adding in some watermelon. And as I'm making Cindy's lunch, I'm gonna be adding in as many pink food picks as I can. Now it was kind of a challenge to think of a pink vegetable but I decided to go with some radishes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these guys up. I'm gonna trim off the ends and then add them into the lunchbox. I think these radishes look really cool in the lunchbox. Now when it comes to Cindy's snack, I'm gonna be adding a scoop of the pink princess goldfish crackers. I actually have a big box of these in my pantry so it was really easy to just pull them out. And then for Cindy's sweet treat, something extra special. I'm gonna be adding in this pink macaron. Now surprisingly, this is not actually raspberry flavored. I was able to pick up just one macaron at a local Publix grocery store. And believe it or not, it's actually apple flavored. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right in a separate container. I'll go ahead and add a little container of ranch to go along with those radishes. And then the very last thing I'm adding into Cindy's lunch is some pink lemonade. And check out these cool bottles, you guys. These little bottles totally remind me of when I was a kid. My mom didn't buy these super often, usually only if I was going on a field trip or if there was a special event. You just twist the little top off and you can drink it like that. And there you have it, you guys. I think Cindy's pink lunch turned out awesome. And as you can tell, the theme for Brent's lunch today is purple. Now personally, I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. But it can be kind of tricky to come up with all purple foods. So for Brent's main course, he requested purple cereal. There's actually quite a bit of purple cereals available, but I decided to go with this all berry Captain Crunch. And to keep this lunch all purple, I'm going to pick through the cereal and only take out the purple ones. So I'm gonna add several scoops of this purple cereal to the lunchbox and then move on to the vegetable. For Brent's lunch today, he requested a purple cabbage coleslaw. So I'm gonna take this big purple cabbage, I'm gonna cut off just a bit of this, and then using my purple knife, I'm going to cut this cabbage into small pieces. Now I'm going to move this cabbage aside and move on to the carrots. But since I'm trying to keep this lunch all purple, instead of using regular carrots, I'm using the purple ones. So I went ahead and added the coleslaw mixture to the lunch box, and then in a separate container, I'm going to pack the coleslaw dressing. And I think I'll be able to fit it in right here. Now moving on to Brent's fruit. In this back section, I'm actually gonna be putting in a purple plum. I'm gonna fit this whole thing down into the lunchbox, just like this. And then to dress up our plum just a bit, I'm going to add one cute little pick right in the center. Now moving on to Brent's snack, he requested more of those purple carrots. So I just put a few of these in a separate purple container. And then for Brent's sweet treat, I have something really special. He requested a purple Pop-Tart. So at my grocery store, they only had one flavor of purple Pop-Tart and it is wild berry. These are super fun and colorful, but I don't think I've ever put a Pop-Tart in a lunch before. So this will be a first. But you guys, to get this to fit into the lunchbox, I do need to go ahead and cut this into quarters. Now you guys, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about Pop-Tarts. I know some people really like them and some people don't like them. Now to dress this up just a bit, I'm also gonna be adding a few little food picks in here. The purple ones, of course. And then to complete Brent's lunch, I'm also gonna be throwing in some grape juice. And since this is a purple themed lunch, I decided to use my purple mini topper for this drink. Next up, I'm going to be making a lunch idea sent in by Alasia. Alasia is 19 years old, she's from Boston, and for her lunch today, she requested all yellow food. 
So my first step for Alaysia's lunch is the main course, and she requested yellow rice with meatballs. So for this yellow rice, I'm definitely taking some help from the store. I'm going to be heating up some of this Uncle Ben's ready rice. This only takes about 90 seconds in the microwave, so it's super quick and convenient, and it smells really good. It kind of reminds me of stuffing that you might have around Thanksgiving. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up this entire section of the lunchbox with this yellow rice. And then to finish off this rice, I'm also adding just a couple of turkey meatballs. These are just the frozen kind from the store. We really like the turkey ones. They're so quick and easy. But since they're not actually that yellow, I think I'll go ahead and dress them up with a few yellow picks right in there. So now that that is done, it's time to move on to Alaysia's fruit. For her yellow fruit today, she requested pineapple chunks. So I'm just adding a little container to this back section of the lunchbox. And I am gonna go ahead and dress these up with a few yellow picks as well. These ones are super cute and they say have fun on them. And then next to the pineapple, I have just enough space to add a little piece of corn on the cob, which is like the perfect food if you're making an all yellow lunch. So I'll go ahead and stick that right down in there. It looks like I just have enough space to fit this in. Now that is looking pretty cool already, but I do have two more sections I wanna fill up. For Alaysia's snack today, she requested Funyuns. So if you've never tried Funyuns before, they're basically a crispy snack and they come in the shape of an onion ring and they have lots of onion flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this section with as many Funyuns as I can. And then in this back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sweet treat. For Alaysia's lunch, she requested shortbread cookies which I am a huge fan of. And I did try to find the most yellow ones that I possibly could at the store. I actually ended up getting these ones from Walmart. And then to finish off Alaysia's lunch, I'm also gonna be adding in some lemonade. So I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this good to grow bottle with the cute little minion topper. I'll go ahead and fill this bottle up with water and then add some lemonade flavoring. Now that brings us to Camille's lunch idea. Camille is 15 years old, she's from Tennessee, and for her lunch today, all the food is going to be red, or as close to red as I can find. For this lunch, I'll go ahead and start with the main course first. Camille requested some pepperoni pizza. So I'm just gonna take a small piece of dough. I wanna make sure that this pizza is small enough to fit inside the lunch box. Next, I'm going to add some red pizza sauce and then spread it out. Next, I'm adding the mozzarella cheese and I'm going to top it all off with some turkey pepperoni. Now, because I want this pizza to end up looking completely red, I'm going to completely cover the top of the pizza with pepperoni slices. This is probably twice the amount of pepperoni slices I would normally make, but it should leave us with a nice red looking pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven for about 10 minutes. So while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare Camille's sweet treat. She requested a cupcake with red frosting. Now for this, I'm also gonna be taking some help from the store just to make it really quick and easy. I'm actually starting with some mini muffins. These are the perfect size to put in a lunchbox and they're really tasty. So I'm just spreading a little bit of frosting right on top. And then to turn this into a red cupcake, I'm going to dip the entire top in red sprinkles. This is so easy to do and the cupcakes always end up looking awesome. So now that our red pizza is done, I'm going to do my best to fit it into the lunchbox. It pretty much fits in there. And now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to the fruit. For Camille's lunch today, I'm actually gonna be doubling up on the fruit. In this front section, I'm adding some chunks of watermelon. And then in this back section, I'm adding a scoop full of red seedless grapes. And this section is also going to get you guessed it, a red food pick. For Camille's snack today, she requested fruit snacks. So I went ahead and opened up the package of fruit snacks and I put it into this really cute Lego themed snack holder. This really does look like a big Lego block and it fits perfectly into the lunchbox. And then in this last spot, there's just enough space for that special treat that I made earlier, the red cupcake. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this big red star to the top of the cupcake just to dress it up a little bit. And then finally for Camille's drink today, she requested a watermelon juice. Moving on to Colleen's lunch. Colleen is 27 years old, and for her lunch today, she requested all white food. 
My first step for Colleen's lunch is to prepare some mac and cheese, but of course, since this is a white lunch, I'm making the white cheddar shell mac and cheese. Now I have to say, out of all of the different kinds of white cheddar mac and cheese, this Annie's is probably my favorite. It's really good. And when it's done, it really does stay bright white. So now that the mac and cheese is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the lunch box. Next up, I'm gonna be adding Camille's fruit. She requested pears, so I'm just gonna take this big pear here, and I'm gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. And surprisingly, I don't have that many white food picks, just a couple different ones to choose from, really. So for the pears, I think I'll go ahead and use the star pick. These ones are really interesting. They say happy lucky on them. For Colleen's vegetable, I'm gonna be adding in some cauliflower. Normally, I do like to roast cauliflower, but if I do that, it probably won't stay very white. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it in just as is. But then to dress up the cauliflower just a bit, I will go ahead and put in just one googly eye pick. I normally love to add this into broccoli, but it works just as well in cauliflower too. Now in this back section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little cupcake liner. That way I can separate the snack and the treat. For the snack, I'm just adding a scoop full of this white cheddar popcorn. I'm gonna try my best not to overfill this section because I definitely don't wanna run out of space for the donuts. Colleen requested these white powdered sugar donuts which are perfect for this lunch today. And I think I'll be able to fit two or maybe three right in this lunchbox. And then the very last thing that Colleen requested for her lunch is coconut water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this really fun bottle that I got at Walmart. This is the kind that has the coconut pieces actually floating inside. And of course those coconut pieces are white. So so I think it goes really well with our white themed lunch. Now if you missed last week's colorful lunches, you can click on the link right here to check it out. And if you're looking for school lunch ideas, you can click on the link right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.